Hey guys, I wanted to make a whole video about how to ride the subway in Mexico City because I've received a ton of questions about it and it is by far the best, easiest, and most affordable way to get around one of the biggest cities in the whole world. About four and a half million people use the Mexico City subway on an average weekday. There are 12 lines and 195 stations. And I realize that can seem very overwhelming, but it's very easy to navigate and it only costs you five pesos. To put that into perspective, five pesos is about 25 US cents and about 36 cents in Canadian dollars. That's insane. I've ridden a lot of subways around the world and I've never encountered one that's this affordable. It's incredibly good value. So for five pesos, you can ride as far as you want and transfer as many times as you like. It's an amazing deal. If you're only planning to use the subway once or twice, then you can get a paper ticket for one or two fares at a taquilla, a ticket booth inside any subway station. If like me, however, you're planning to use it quite a bit, then I recommend getting a rechargeable card. For 10 pesos, you can get a card like this and then recharge it as many times as you want. You can do this at the taquilla, the ticket booth, inside any subway station, or you can also do it by a machine at a metro bus stop. It's easy to do at the machine, even if you don't speak Spanish. There's a little slot where you just put this in and then another slot for you to put your money in. You can use bills or coins. Even if you don't speak Spanish, I promise it's easy to figure out. It does it for you and when it's finished, it will let you know on the computer screen and you can just slide this out and you are all charged up and good to go. Like most subways in the world, you navigate based on the last destination of whichever line you're on. So find the station that you're trying to get to and look at whichever station is at the end of that line and that is the direction you want to go. What's unique about the subway in Mexico City is that not only do they have names for stations, but each station has a corresponding picture symbol. This is amazing and I've never seen it before. It makes it possible and accessible for people who are either illiterate or can't read or speak Spanish to associate a destination with its corresponding symbol. So if you don't know how to say or read the name of the station, just look for the picture and you can navigate that way. One of my other favorite things about the subway in Mexico City is that there is a special section with cars especially reserved for women and minors. So if you're a woman traveling alone and you'd like to take advantage of this, they're available at most stations during peak hours. I think it's fantastic and I've never seen this anywhere else in the world and I hope that more cities will start doing it. Because the subway system is quite vast, I recommend having a map already before you go in. We ended up using an offline map from an app that we pre-downloaded so you can look up those or have a paper map or just take a screen cap on your phone. Something that you can use to navigate while you're inside. There are usually maps located right inside the doors of each subway station. And when you're on the car itself, I noticed that the maps tend to be not right above the exit and entrance doors as they often are. They're more located in the middle of the car. So if you're looking for it, look there. Be aware of pickpocketing just as you would be in any other crowded place anywhere in the world. There's a large police and security presence I noticed in the subways. Personally, I never felt any fear at all taking the subway in Mexico City. I know it can get extremely crowded during peak hours. Again, like most other major cities in the world, you're gonna find this in Tokyo or Hong Kong or New York. So if you don't wanna feel that crowded, then maybe just avoid it during rush hour. There's also a light rail transit system that extends beyond where the subway picks you up. You can also use your rechargeable cards there. Metro buses are also available. I never took them personally because the subway went everywhere that I needed to go, but they're an option too. I did notice in terms of accessibility and mobility that there are some elevators and escalators at certain stations, but not every single station. So if that's something that you are thinking about, just be aware that they're not always accessible. Something else to remember about riding the subway is that you may need to push a little bit to get on or off. Again, this is no different than any other big city in the world, but I did have to learn it the hard way. And in case you missed it, here's a recap from me trying to get off the subway in Polanco. <laughs> Just barely got out of there. Okay. That was a close call. Overall, taking the subway in Mexico City was my favorite way to get around. I thought it was easy to navigate. I felt safe. Everyone was really friendly and helpful and it's incredible value. I can't recommend it enough if you're looking to get around Mexico City. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel for more travel videos and I'll see you in my next one. Or just take a screen crap on your phone. <laughs> Sound like I said screen crap. Yep.